that game. And that was a tough game for Duke. And that made me think that Duke was going to be like trash. And I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe Duke's not as good as I'm thinking, right? But to see them in another tough game, they faced a lot of adversity, a lot of adversities this year, a lot. Tough game with Northwestern. Now they're in another tough game with, with NC. Man, boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, watch out for Duke. Watch out for Duke because they is coming. They are coming. Now, now we're looking at Stanford and Clemson, the Stanford and Clemson game. Stanford maybe fooled me a little bit by the way that they play Syracuse. And they were able to beat Syracuse and almost dominate a fashion on Syracuse. It just call it what it is. He looked lost out there. They and I'm like, wow, what is going on with you know with, with Syracuse? Syracuse able to beat Georgia Tech earlier this year, shut him down with the run, and then they let Stanford just come in there and just dominate them. And now Stanford just sits the bed totally Clemson. Just dominates them 40 to 14. I told y'all last week what they did, right? They took, they let K Klubnik play his game. Let him play his game. He is the most. Hey, I, 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 can, can I say he's the most athletic white boy quarterback out? Can I say that or do that? Or that, that, that don't sound right. Like, am I just not being honest? Like he is the most athletic quarterback bro like white boy quarterback hey, he he's really just dipping on people he's that like and i told y'all the new way works and so does the old way and clemson watch out for them because they are putting the beats on people ever since they took that l to georgia they dominate people but now the l that they took to georgia also that's Georgia. That's Georgia. You don't hold that against them. You don't. You can't. You can't hold that against them. That's Georgia. Shout out to Clemson, what they're able to do, man. I'm I'm a big fan of what they're able to do. And that defense over there at Clemson is just, oh, man, it's just, it's different. It's different this year. And that and keeping your culture there, it works. It works. And so doesn't the portal. It works. So everybody that was mad at Dabo for not going into the portal. I bet they ain't mad now. I bet they are not mad now. Next one we got to talk about is this guy dang on Florida State football team. What is going on with Florida State? Oh, oh my gosh. Man, I know Norvell got to be over there. I, I, I like, just got a contract. And this is what happens when you're able to pay the top talent in football. This is what happens. They they have excuse me. They gotta they, they gotta start uh, contracts. Just I mean I know they got some out there like that, and I know uh, a, a scholarship is pretty much that. But no, they need regular professional football player type contracts. Yes, they do in college football. Yes. They do, yes. Yes. And if you leave and transfer to another school after you sign that contract, don't sit them for a whole season. Sit, make them sit for half of the season. Make them sit for half of the Football season, no matter what team they go to, sign them contracts, bro, and make them sit half of the season. That that's that's what it is. That's just what it is, straight up. Because, and and depending on how many teams you transfer, right? So, let's say a college student or a football player, any sport player, he's transferred three times. This is his third school. Two or more transfers, you have to sit a whole year in order to be the play for transferring. But if it's his first time transferring, you still should get penalized for leaving the school. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it, it's starting to keep them there. You got to sit six months. But if you done bounce from 
if you trans 